20 races gone, two remain. And for Max Verstappen tonight, it's his first championship points of the season. The first opportunity that he can win his first world title if he outscores Lewis Hamilton by 18 points or more. Through the formation lap, respect the cycle pedal to the requirements. And the white retires, as you know how. No, don't be happy with the All good. We just work the tires in the formation lap. It should come to us. Red Bull have taken the fight to Mercedes. They have that lead in the Drivers' Championship. Mercedes have that lead in the Constructors' Championship. What will happen at the end of this race? It's lights out and away we go. Bottas gets a decent start, as does Hamilton. Verstappen can't dive down the inside. Leclerc's keeping him company as Hamilton takes the lead into the first corner. That is Mick Schumacher into the barrier at the infamous now turn 21-22 complex. We've got our first safety car of the evening. Are you okay, Mick? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, sorry about that. So, box, box, box. Stay very safe on the Delta. Coming. Watch out, you're going through the accident now. Lose seven seconds ahead. You can close another second. Oh, Valtteri is driving massively off the pace. I agree, it's a absolute. Stay out, Max. Stay out. That shouldn't be allowed, what he does. So it will be all clear. Very early. So Verstappen hasn't stopped, he's done a box opposite. Verstappen stays out and takes the lead of this race. Hamilton and Bottas pit. Are Red Bull gambling here on another safety car? Could they get caught out? We'll only find out at the end of lap 50. And they're now red flagging the race. And this is now played very much into Red Bull and Max Verstappen's hands. Because the one thing you can do when the race is suspended and it's red flagged, you can make your tyre change. Um, that means we're on the lead now, two laps. That's correct. Does this not mean you can change tyres? Unfortunately, Lewis, yes it does. The tyre wall looks fine. Uh, find out what the reason for a red flag is. Hey, firm Lewis. James, that was a big gamble that they just took. Because we're right behind them on the SC, that doesn't even make sense. Does it make sense to you? It's a gamble because they stopped prayers and most people stopped in the top 10. Uh, it, not 100% sense, no. It, it's, it's a risk we knew with that red flag, but we didn't think it was going to happen. We, we have potential. I'll come down and see you. There's still possibilities for us. Hamilton, I just get the feeling there, is thinking that they've done this because they're doing it against me and is feeling very much that there's another reason behind the decision. All I'm saying is that Michael Massey did very much the same thing when we had a similar incident in uh, FP2 when Charles Leclerc crashed. Max Verstappen is now back in the car, as are the rest of the drivers. He just did a start from the pit lane. No, that's your start from the pit lane, right? He did a practice start. Okay, safety car needs to speed up again. Wait, why is the safety car driving so slow? We cannot heat the tires. It's lights out and away we go again. And Verstappen and Hamilton are going to be neck and neck going into turn one. And Hamilton's got a better start. And Hamilton goes into the first corner as Bottas locks up. Almost hits Verstappen who goes off the track and then forces Hamilton wide as Esteban Ocon gets ahead of Lewis Hamilton and goes into second place. And that's Sergio Perez who's been tagged. George Russell, and it's Russell up against the barriers. So Verstappen in the lead from Esteban Ocon, and then comes Lewis Hamilton. Are you okay, Maz? Are you okay? Yeah, mate. I'm sorry, but I couldn't avoid this. Cover that, mate. Cover that. So red flag, red flag. Keep Delta positive, no overtaking. Everyone okay? Uh, I think they're just talking to Mazepin. I would say he didn't give me space, but Hamilton owned that corner. And you're also obliged to rejoin the track in a safe manner. Just cut across the whole curve. Copy. Just re-took re me over 
Oh, outside the white line. Roger Lewis, yep, yeah, we're on it. I'm going to give you the opportunity uh, based on what occurred at turn one, two. We would drop you back behind Hamilton. I understood. That is my offer. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that. We understand the order will be Ocon, Hamilton, Verstappen. That is correct. And you having a really good look at all that Bottas stuff under the, and also Hamilton dropping back under the formation lap just now. Yeah, I'll have a look at it all. It was a standing start, restart, Jonathan, not a formation lap. Okay, okay no problems. Radio check. Okay, Lewis, uh, radio's loud and clear. Max is going to pull to one side. You and Esteban are going to pull away, and then he's going to slot in behind you. So it'll be P2 on the grid, Esteban P1. The default for the start will be the low grip position. Low grip. Well, I'll be 100% sure because it's not terrible. Uh, yes, it's nice, yeah. Lights out, and away we go. And Ocon ahead of Hamilton, but not by much. Verstappen's going to go down the inside. There's three of them, and Hamilton and Ocon touch. But they keep going, and Verstappen now ahead of Lewis Hamilton. He picked his moment, he picked the right moment. And Verstappen takes the lead of the race. Down the main straight we come, and Lewis Hamilton pulls out to the left-hand side and gets past Esteban Ocon. He had the pace, that was easy. He is gaining on Max Verstappen, he's going to go for the move here. Lewis Hamilton trying to get into the lead of the race. They go wheel to wheel into the first corner. Verstappen has to bail out. Lewis Hamilton has to bail out. Verstappen ends that sequence with a bigger lead over Lewis Hamilton. Max doesn't like to yield, does he? He'll use any part of the racetrack. That is pretty crazy now. Yeah, copy that, Lewis. We're on it. Max. Um, so let's give the position back to Hamilton. Obviously, do that strategically. Give the position back. Give it back. Both are giving it absolutely everything. Look at this. I get the feeling it's going to happen again. Oh. oh, they've touched and they've collided. Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. How much damage on Hamilton's Mercedes? What has happened there? Verstappen being told to give the place back to Lewis Hamilton. Slowed down on the straight. Hamilton ran into the back of the Red Bull. Just what is going on here in Jeddah tonight? There was definitely a bit of movement going on with the Red Bull, wasn't yeah. there, from that camera angle but it, it, at the last moment. Just break this in me. It's on. So you can, you've been told to give you the path. I've just hit him, man. My wing's broken. No, it's okay. It looks okay. He's been told to give you the position. He just brake tested me, dude. I didn't know what's going on. It was just dangerous driving, dude. I don't know what's going on here, Max. He's trying to lay it past. He's not going past. Yeah, let's hit my tyre. Yeah, we're on it. Tires are fine. I don't have. Yeah, no idea what's going on. I've definitely got some damage on my car. It's only front wing end plate looks light. So race control have instructed them to get the place back. I don't know if the Stefan has had that message yet. Okay, understood. Right, so there we're we on over Hamilton and Verstappen clearly slowing down. This yeah. is the DRS zone. And Max Verstappen, after letting Lewis pass, now goes for a lunge down the inside and retakes the lead of the race. So he let Hamilton pass. Hamilton scooted past. And Max Verstappen has a five second time penalty for leaving the track and gaining an advantage. So he might have the lead of this race but he's got a five second time penalty. And this is the first time that the steward's room itself has got involved to give an official penalty. Max Info, we have been given a five second time penalty. Um, so that's just it for the moment. So the Stappen has five second time penalty. The Stappen, five seconds. And Hamilton has now got past Verstappen. Lap 43 of this race, Hamilton now leads from Max Verstappen. We didn't quite need to do that, Max. But uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, my tires are gone. Copy that. Hamilton is going to give us level pegging in the championship as he comes home to win the first Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. It's Hamilton and Mercedes on top. It's Hamilton and Verstappen finishing 1-2 and sharing the top two places for the 13th time this season. The cool head won that out. And the icing on the cake, Valtteri P3.
He got P3 by about a foot. Mega job. Great job, guys. Great job. That's more like it. Come on. Let's keep pushing, man. Hard luck with that. I'm not sure I agree with all those decisions, but it's a good effort. It is what it is, mate. <laughs> I tried at least. Still in the lead of the championship. Yeah, good effort, Max. I don't know why he did uh, why he went out the back of you like that. I had made no sense at all. I think someone's got your back here, Max, because you've been voted driver of the day. Uh, if it's not the FI, somebody else has got your back. Max Verstappen, congratulations. You've been voted driver of the day. The fans seem to like what you did out there today. Reflect on your performance for me, please. Uh, yeah, luckily the fans have a clear mind about racing because uh, what happened today is unbelievable. Man. I'm just trying to race and uh, this sport lately is more about penalties than racing. So for me, this is not Formula One, but at least uh, the fans enjoyed it and I gave it all today, but clearly not quick enough, but still happy with, uh, with second. Well, you're going to have to give it all next weekend as well, Max. Congratulations, you are driver of the day in Saudi Arabia. 1974, Emerson Fittipaldi, Clay Regazzoni were tied going into the final race. It's the last time that the scores were level going into the last race. It is now the 30th title decider at the final race of the season. The fourth in Abu Dhabi. It is only seven days away. What a night tonight.